I've just returned from the execution of Greenacre. I stood on the platform, close to the criminal. We afterwards saw him cut down and laid out. He seemed paralysed with fear. A voice speaking from 1837 that's now been recovered and preserved. This account of the execution of Norfolk murderer James Greenacre outside Newgate Prison was written by Henry William Walpole, and now it's on display at our county's record office. It was just one of 91 lots that were bought at the auction of the contents of Morningthorpe Manor last September, and it's now found its home at the new Saving Norfolk's Archival Heritage exhibition. We had a long list of items and a plan, and certain things which were priorities, and it was a matter of sitting there for two days and bidding. I mean, we secured a good portion of what we, what, what we wanted to get. It was really important that this stuff remained in Norfolk and was accessible to the public here at the Norfolk Record Office. We've got about 30 documents on display, so it's a selection of a selection, but it just gives a flavour of what we purchased at the sale. The Norfolk Record Office spent £30,000 at the auction of historian Ron Fisk's vast collection, money that was raised through donations from history fans from as far away as New Zealand. It includes everything from what's believed to be the earliest account of a tourist trip round the broads to books filled with 17th century property rights. Also on display in the corridor are tenancy agreements and plans for buildings owned by the Great Hospital. But as with everything else, just a few of the items bought are actually on display. Many more are still behind the scenes, being poured over by experts trying to glean anything they can from documents that date back centuries. There's always a danger that you get blasé and you forget what is of interest to people. Um, and our bread and butter is as a research collection for people tracing their family, tracing the history of their village or their house. Um, and a lot of this material is the bread and butter stuff that people would need to look at if they're researching um, their family or, or their local history. Our mission, if you like, is we collect to preserve and make accessible. But the key thing is that people the reason we do all of this is people can come and use it for their own research. If you knew that a property was owned by the Great Hospital, you might go to the Great Hospital collection, but you'd have to do a bit of detective work for that. But if somebody has catalogued those, and they've identified that one of the plans shows the Adam and Eve, and you're researching the history of that pub, you'd be able to go straight to that plan and you would know it was there. Much more can be seen in the Saving Norfolk's Archival Heritage exhibition, which runs until May 19th. And with hundreds of documents to sift through, who knows what might be discovered in our county's rich history and how close to home it could be. Mark Summers, Mustard TV, Norwich.